day. We are uh, at Marine Engineering Headquarters, PhD Marine, aka Pat's Garage, where he's going to be servicing my Big Johnson, which I'm very excited about. Action. Prop removal. <laughs> Prop removal. <laughs> We've got a lot of grease on that shaft. Good Check for any seal damage. All found to be okay. Healthy specimen. <whistles> Some machine. That's right, get it right in there. <laughs> a liberal coating <laughs> ruining this. We're going to do a water pump removal on this. The first thing in here, we've got to disconnect the gear linkage, which is a tiny little thing like that with a pin through the end. Then it's three bolts either, either side, 15 mils. Um, they've got to come off. Split pin in, bet in the end. New split pin. New split pin. Love the old job. Next stage doing the water pump. So first off we've removed that tiny little pin in there that connects the gear linkage to the gearbox and these six we've loosened off to remove the lower leg adjustment the trim angle adjustment we'll go for that yeah we'll call it that shall we it takes out like cork steel we'll go for that yeah we'll go for a bit of that yeah <laughs> we'll remember the angle i've mem remembered it as that yeah lovely and there's one last bolt up here Ding dong. Ah. Oh, let me help. Oh, you've done it. Well done. Let me have it. Success. All present and correct. Happy days. Water pump removal. Take one. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Did you read the script before we did this? No. Yeah. I can't read it. Oh dear. <laughs> looks like because that's not pumping as much water as it should. Good. Looks alright. Looks fine with you. Something else is broken then. Oh dear. Could course, be too much wear in the housing. Or something's blocked. It's not pumping as much water as it was. Tool for the job, is it? Not really. But might get some flat by the viewers. Here's the, uh, here's the contents of the water pump kit metal base with the key in it, rubber propeller, and a gasket. Good. 
right in the middle. Bingo. Bingo Ringo. Mm -hmm. Key. Key, check. Why has that got a white dot on it there? Dot for down. Dot for down? Dot for down. It's only got the cut out one side, not the other. Dot for down. There you go, it's on the key. I did put some on there just as an extra measure. Only because you've had low pumping pressure. Little twist as she goes in. it up. You just going for the devil? Oh. You going for the devil? Oh no, I'm cheeky. Grease everywhere. Can't have too much grease. Well, that is a lie. Liberal. A liberal application of grease. A nice. Well, you've got to guide that bit through that hole there, remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where does that go from there, though? Yeah. We're home. My hands are so greasy. I can't even get the soap off. Too much grease on me hand part. Linkage pin installed. installed. Your neck always looks so nice. It's kind of you. I'm leaving that like that so it's in, but I am going to replace it. Okay, thanks for the feedback on my neck. Nice, <laughs> it's, it's all right. A lot of people forget the neckline, so yeah. I, yeah. Well, actually, for me, it's one of my most favorite areas. Okay, so yeah. uh, we're going to do the gearbox oil. So you loosen the top vent and the bottom of the drain. You 
It looks very black, but it's actually because if we put the green high performance gear mood in last year. How much does it take? Uh, about a litre. Here's how much I've got in storage unit. Uh, I've got five litres in the back anyway. Out here. Oh, that shit suffice. Uh, removing the seal from the plug so we can replace it with a new one. New one out, yeah? You know this won't make you catch any more fish? No, but it might get me home after a trip. If it doesn't, don't call me. What, if it doesn't get me back? Yeah. You'll be on the thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hmm, shit. Right, let's fill her up. Yes, yeah, so you pump in the bottom. Pump in the bottom. Air comes out the top. We don't stop until the oil comes out. There she goes. There's the last of the air bubbles out. Oil change one, done. You want no air in there at all? It's the thing I like about having a white engine. Every little fingerprint shows up. And that'll make it go through the water quicker, won't it? Oh the, yeah, yeah, you'll be catching twice as much fish now, for sure. And the natural mineral oil, that is like a chum, chum for the fish, isn't it? So that attracts yeah. them in? Yeah, that's, that's all good stuff. It is, yeah, it all helps beat the competition, doesn't it? So. Oh, I'm not in competition with anyone. People might be in competition with me. Gear all done, moving on to engine oil. You've got the socket in the in the drain. Easy squeezy. Bayera Marathi on tap. So what was you saying about you were saying these, these engines are the best engines in the world you said? Best ever. No, I secretly quite think you like them. Now's got time for the outdoor debate. <laughs> there we go. I'll stand here with a bucket. Good old boy. Okay, yeah, you don't want to drop that, mate. Where did it go? Oh, sorry. Don't mean to alarm you, but we're running out of. Yeah, well, it's your white driveway. Bucket space here. Quite quickly. Should I start searching or do you reckon you'll be alright? I think it'd be helpful if you started to have a look. We've got a Morrison's bag, is that any good? Uh, has it got any holes in it? Yeah, it's got quite a few. Uh, can we continue the search? New 
new seal. New sump seal going in. Winder up. You think really boat engines in general, if they get treated like this, get treated better than a car engine, don't they? What you do in the oil? It'd be 90 hours in a car. Yeah, but imagine sailing your car down the river. They don't float very well, do they? No. Otherwise, everyone would have one. That's it. Happy days. No oil, super. Yep. Just drained it out, so it's no surprises there. So anyway, whoever, whoever looks after this engine, they a lovely yeah. job of keeping it clean, don't they? They know all about a can of WD-40, that's for sure. That is for sure. They do know all about a can of WD-40. Keep her clean. We did our rectification where we did last year, but well, we put extra grease on all the things to stop them from rusting, and they've not rusted anymore. So, so need another coating? We'll give her another little coat this season. Four and a half. Give it in. Yeah. Wipe off. Yeah. Need more in there. Need more. That's going to take five. You want me to do it or? Yeah, go on, sink it in. Okay. The last, last of five litres. Oh, my God. It's all coming out my nozzle. That's good to see you doing something, to be honest. <laughs> Thanks. You're joking. It's not going to work. No way. It? It's not going to work yet. We're going to have to resort back to the worst puddle in the world. I'll fill it, dip it, and hold it, shall I? Yeah, you do that, mate. Okay, thank you. That's good, yeah. Tiny bit more. And I reckon that would do us. Top it up again after it's run. And the filter's changed. And the filter's changed. No, it's a oil and filter change. Okay, get it. Spot on. Good for Rob. Did you do little filter? Oh, yeah. Did you do little filter? Yeah, it's radio. Have you got any clean engine oil? Gasket. Good lubrication. Job done. Happy days. Cool the bike. The cowling coming off, so we can get the fuel filter. Fuel filter coming off. Not coming off? Just a bit tight on the old Johnson, aren't they? Well, yeah. That's why I call it a tight pipe Johnson. Is that a water separator as well, or just a fuel filter? Just a fuel filter. You've got a water separator, don't you? Yeah, I've got one this in the shed when I decide to fit it. Perfect, they're great in the shed. <laughs> Voila, un fuel filter. What's it? It's an engine anode. Any good? Did you get a new one? No. It's perfect. Excellent. Oh, no, no, no.
halfway across the driveway. So what we've done, we've done oil, filter, water pump kit, put those shims in that shaft, fuel filter around the other side, fuel filter. wiper over. Thank Look you very much. D40. Thank you very much, PhD Marine. Alaska will go again. We hope anyway. I do hope so, don't call me.